Good morning. Confess with me now. Jesus is my Lord. Jesus is my healer. He is my life and he is my health. For the last few days, we have been possessing our promises for healing and divine health. For the last two days, we've been possessing the promises for our sound mind and that we have the mind of Christ and for a perfect and just memory. What awesome promises Jesus purchased for us. But today, the Lord specifically wanted me to give you his promises for um, long life. So one of my favorite, of course, is Psalms 91, 16. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. With long life. And Frank, when he would have our people confess that, he would say, with long life. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. So not only does God provide for us, has made provision for us to live, to be healed, live in divine health, have set perfect sound mind, but to live a long life as well. But you know, these are promises that have to be possessed. Hebrews 4 says, Let us fear, lest any promise being left us of entering into his rest, any of you should seem to come short of it. For unto us was the gospel preached, the good news was preached, as well as unto them, talking about the children of Israel when they came out of Egypt. He says, uh, But the word preached did not profit them not being mixed with faith in them, in them that heard it. So I'm going to say that again. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. And then in 1 Corinthians 10, uh, the Holy Spirit through the Apostle Paul said, but with many of them, God was not well pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. So this is one of the promises that God has given to us. And there is a huge error in people's thinking, a lie of the devil that God has put into people's mind. And many times these things are coming from the pulpits. But one, one huge error is, well, when it's your time to go, it's just your time to go and you can't do anything about it. Or, well, you know, God just wanted that child in his choir. There are so many lies, but the word of God is truth. And the word of God is given to us so that we know the truth. And when you know the truth, the truth makes you free. I searched this out for myself years ago because those questions came into my mind of, well, exactly what is the truth about this? And this was a scripture God gave me in Hebrews chapter 9, 27, because this is a scripture that people use, ministers will use and say, well, God has appointed your time to die, but listen to what he said. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after that the judgment. Notice he did not say appointed unto men when to die. And he, right there he was talking about that Jesus died once for us because he said it is appointed unto men once to die. So that straightens out that error right there that God did not appoint when you are to die, and that would make him a respecter of persons, and God is no respecter of persons. For him to say, well, you only get to live two years, but you get to live 120 years. No, God's promises are for every person, and he doesn't pick and choose what year you are going to die. He said in Deuteronomy 30, See, 
I have set before you. He said, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. And then in another part of that, he said, good or evil. He says, you choose. You choose. So whose choice is it? It's my choice and it's your choice. And then he goes on to say, choose life. So how are we going to do that? A few scriptures back, he says, but what saith it? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. So we speak words of life. Jesus said this. He said, the words that I speak are spirit and life. I say the words that I speak are spirit and life. I choose life so that me and my seed may live. What are you going to choose? But you have to declare it. You have to speak that. You make that choice of whether or not you're going to live a long life or you're not going to live a long life. So um, another scripture is in Proverbs 3, verse 2. He says, For length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Length of days, long life, and peace shall they add to thee. Then in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 2, he tells us, Honor thy father and thy mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with you and that you may live long on the earth. So if God had a certain lifespan set aside for each person, like one's this and one another one's that, then here he gives us something to do to extend our life. So, no, God tells us the things that will give us a long life, and it's up to us as to whether or not we are going to uh, accept that and live a long life. And another thing is what's in the power of the tongue, life and death. I shared this with you before, are in the power of the tongue. David said, I will live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. So your tongue is very important to your long life. And I love this one also, this promise. Deuteronomy eleven twenty one, that your days may be multiplied and the days of your sea children in the land which the Lord swore unto your fathers to give them as the days of heaven on earth, that your days may be multiplied and the days of your children. So there he gives you the promise, not only for you, but for your children, that your days are multiplied. So I'll give you some more of these promises tomorrow, but aren't these awesome to take these promises and speak them over your entire family, your and your entire family? Remember all day, Jesus is Lord. The word of God gives you long life.